everybody, my name is uh, Jacob Albrecht, and today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Battlefront, and uh, so what I've got here is a, mm, about a, a GTX 960 um, SSC, so super, super clocked. And what that means is my card is um, going to run ultra settings at 100% uh, uh, resolution scaling at 1080p, uh, usually from... 45 to um, 60 FPS, or maybe a little bit higher, but it usually won't break the uh, V-Sync area. Um, and and demand demanding maps such as uh, um, Endor or the new uh, Star Wars Battlefront Solus maps, it, it's kind of a mess. So what I'm going to show you how to do is play a trick on resolution scaling. And you pro all, most of you probably know about this especially if you're familiar with how consoles operate. But what you may not have uh, tried doing uh, is, see, um, if I just turned all my settings ultra on 1080p, uh, I would get 45 to 60 FPS, maybe even lower than 45. And uh, some maps as it might uh, uh, get a stuttery FPS, which could actually be considerably worse. Um, so what I'm going to tell you to do is set it to TAA. So um, temporal anti-aliasing, I believe it's called. And now what that's going to do is see if I turn this off, it's back to the highest uh, FX AA uh, anti-aliasing setting. Uh, here, let's see if I can. Do you see those little aliasing lines there? Those uh, little movement lines you get. Uh, when you don't have TAA on, are going to be magnified the lower the uh, resolution you go. And those are probably about the um, ugliest things ever. So, um, they're, they're more noticeable up in person. Uh, so that's kind of why I figure the phone actually might be a good idea for uh, recording devices. You can go up and move things. Now, I guess you'd have to see this up in person. Uh, I think it applied my settings. Oh, there you go. Right there. That's what I mean. That's really right there in the middle. Right with that 90, the health bar, the health indicator for my uh, Imperial Sides uh, walker. It's kind of indicated that right in the leg. So now uh, what I'm going to sh show you to do is turn up TAA. And you can set this uh, to any resolution you want. I don't need 80% on this map. I could probably go with 90 to 95. Uh, but I just like to keep this, get used to it on Endor. It's going to be a bit blurry, but you're going to get a movie-like quality on here. And if you can pull off, uh, so you're going to try to pull off the highest settings you possibly can uh, with the lowest resolution sc scaling you can stand. See, the resolution scaling, like uh, this is like what a console does. It's going to use a uh, Gaussian blur. Um, so I'm going to show this to you. It isn't. Um, it's going to blur. It's going to render it as if it's going to be a lower resolution, but then it's going to blur it. You can see this if you look on the Google Images and uh, you zoom in really f far. You won't see little pixels. Usually, you'll see a, um, a Gaussian blur. Uh, let's turn this to very pathetic 25 percent see what that looks like see that's a gaussian blur and uh i am focused and that is actually what i think it looks like so yeah see if i could find a little pixels to show you there you go you can kind of see it there any moves you see this better in person so I recommend you try it and uh, you do this to the best of your abilities I understand my card isn't the only one out there but see the thing about this is um, when I turned up settings just from ultra down to high you notice a big quality difference in lighting and uh, textures how they're rendered um, it just doesn't look right when you don't have Ultra on, because this game is meant to have things like uh, Ultra Ambient Occlusion. Uh, and even ground quality, we were talking about a large-scale game. 
uh, with large maps, large player counts for Walker Saw, which is probably the most well-known mode out there. And I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to take advantage, at least try this. And all, with TAA, another tip, you're going to really want a motion uh, blur up to the highest setting. Uh, see, when you move with TAA, um, I should probably turn it back to normal settings here for you. So, let's turn it back maybe to 90. And the thing about TAA, the reason I have this lower is because TAA is a very demanding um, setting. So if I... It's about the same comp computational um, difficulty for any computer as rendering uh, one, at 120%. Uh, so uh, upscaling uh, DPI, I think it's called. Uh, so it's about the same uh, intensity as uh, increasing to 120%, uh, over 100%. So that's a big increase. So you're going to want to turn your res resolution scaling down. So it depends on your setup, but if you have a medium, oh, not, I can't move my uh, mouse because I'm holding my phone up. Um, yeah, there you go. Let's focus in. Uh, okay. There you go. It looks pretty fair, and I think this phone kind of captures it. But see, the lighting is very convincing, and if I should turn settings down for um, ambient occlusion, you'd really notice it. My phone kind of distorts the lighting. It makes it look darker than it looks, um, but it's good enough. In fact, I kind of like it. It looks cinematic from my perspective. It's a good recording for phone. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and um, I really can... Uh, implore you to try it if you don't if you have something below a uh, GTX 970 or something comparable to the GTX 960 or lower um, from AMD or something like that so I come from the Nvidia side but hey I mean this is this is something you can do without any type of settings at all um, from the Nvidia control panel so I mean that means everyone can do it who has a PC and know that consoles do this, but they don't use, um, they don't, uh, they don't fix the, um, the, the side effects, the horrible side effects of Gaussian Blur, um, by adding TAA. Because once you add TAA, you can make any resolution. You can just, it's just like the ultra anti-aliasing technique. Everything looks like rubber, like, um, a rubber figure, every human character. It looks incredible. Um, it blurs things a lot, of course, uh, but it has a realism to it that you can't quite get in a lot of places, uh, and you can see it in a lot of areas. And if you were able, if you had a setup that were able to upscale your uh, rendering resolution uh, at the same time with TAA, it would look absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know if my camera really... Uh this off that well but see he looks like a real rubber figure now let's see how if you can see the difference I'm just going back to FS effects AA I'll leave it at 90 uh, you may not be able to see it that well but you definitely know what I'm talking about in person there's a big difference I don't, I'm starting to think you won't be able to see it, because I can't. Oh, there you go. See it on the white lines, on right on the right of his neck. You can see it. You see this more in person, but maybe you can see it with my mean. And I, I'm, I'm imploring you to uh, research what you think is uh, most artistically and aesthetically pleasing to your eye. So well, I turn it back to 100%. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, please subscribe for more miscellaneous, probably not um, stable material. I know that's quite a turnoff, but hey, I, when I have an idea, I put it up. When I don't have ideas, I just sit idle at home, um, eating chips, going to school, and trying to find a job, you know, growing up. Anyway, uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.